In this video, we'll be going through our thought process and what we prepared before engaging interior designers for a resale HDB home. The first thing we considered is who is living there and how they live. To start, just my wife and I will be living there, but we'd like to have an extra room for guests or an additional family member in the future, and maybe a fur baby. Next is, we thought about how we lived. This was easy for us, as we have stayed in rentals together before. Based on your requirements, the interior designer can plan for safety considerations for children and elderly or multifunctional spaces if you have space constraints. These are some of the things we shared. We play VR games or exercise games, so we like to have enough space in front of the TV to do that. We work from home a lot, so we need a dedicated space for a home office. We are lazy people, so we want the home to be easy to maintain and clean. We don't do a lot of heavy cooking, but we do cook often or would like to. An open concept kitchen works for us. What do we own? You want to think about the items that you need to store and the items you want to display and show off. For us, we're trying to be minimalist, so we try not to have a lot of built-in storage space for items. We also don't really have items we want to display except for plants. We hate dust gathering on surfaces, so we want to cut down on display shelves even though they are aesthetic. What are the future plans for our home? Of course, you can't accurately predict the future, but we thought about how long we are planning to stay in our new home, and the answer was at least 10 years. So we didn't mind splurging on renovation works that might only suit our lifestyles or preferences. If you don't plan to stay for long, you can consider cutting renovation costs by not splurging on super expensive buildings that you cannot bring over to your next place. You can also consider keeping rooms intact instead of hacking them to save money. What interior design styles do we like? How do you want your home to feel? Warm and cozy? Dark and moody? Prepare some pictures of what you like. There's a lot of inspiration you can get from Pinterest, Instagram, Canvas, and even YouTube. Once you have figured out a style you like, you can browse Canvas for interior designers that have done a project similar to your taste. When you chat with interior designers, they will also show you some examples of the work they have done in the style you like. We also pointed out some design features that we wanted in our home, such as recessed lighting, feature walls, and shower niches. Prepare pictures of the current home. The previous owners were kind enough to open up their home for us to take pictures to show interior designers. It would have been even better if the IDs were able to do a site visit. This will give them a better idea of what needs to be hacked, where the current electrical points are, if there are beams that need to be worked around, existing curbs or slopes, or unsightly pipes to box up you will probably get a more accurate quotation this way. Prepare a floor plan. First, you'll want to identify the main areas of a space and then the requirements for each area. For example, we would like a genkan with a place to sit down and a shoe cabinet. For our open concept kitchen, we would like lots of counter space. After you have these requirements, you can draft a floor plan. We actually found that it was much more productive to come up with an initial floor plan to iterate on for the first meeting with the IDs. You will take some preparation on your part, but it makes a good base to start off discussions and ideate on ways to better utilize the space. We used Home by Me to plan our space and even visualize it in 3D. It has more modern and flexible assets that you can use for free compared to other planners such as Planner 5D. You can even share the link to your project online so IDs can take a look even before the first meeting. Leave a comment if you'd like us to do a video on how we use Home by Me to plan our home. Prepare a list of questions you want to ask the interior designer. Here are some of the questions we asked. How to pay the interior design firm? The interior designer will go through their typical terms of payment. You can compare different terms of payments to see if any are suspicious. What are the rough timelines for the project of this scope? Does the interior design firm use its own contractors? Any warranty or insurance? How many 3D designs can be done? Pro tip, if you like the interior designer, you should ask them for pictures of previous projects they have done us to visit their ongoing projects if possible. This will give you a better idea of the quality of their work. One ID even brought us on site to a unit in the same block. The ID will always ask for your budget for the renovation project, so prepare a number. You can use Canvas renovation calculator to estimate the budget for the project. You also need to think about your budget for electrical works, home appliances, and furniture, as these will not be included in the project quotation. Finally, Put together your full set of requirements, follow plans and questions in the document to share with the interior designers you're engaging with. We compiled and shared this document with designers before having our first chat with them and the conversation was much more productive since they would have already a good idea of what we wanted and we could focus on exploring ideas that would fit our requirements better. 
I think most IDs gave us a pretty similar quotation, differing by 10k at most, because we were very clear about our requirements. Something we'll try next time is to create presentation slides rather than a long list of requirements. Slides will have been better for IDs to digest and refer to, especially when you share pictures with annotations for what you like or dislike about them. We hope you found this video helpful. Please also leave your tips in the comments below. Thanks for watching till the end.